we're 15 days into January of 2024. I just want to say a few things to you about the role that we traveled together in 2023. And I want to talk a little bit about what we intend to do in 2024. The first thing that I want to say to you is thank you. Thank you. We have over 5,000 subscribers. We are approaching 6,000 subscribers. Now, I know there are channels with many, many, many more subscribers than we have, but we value every single one of you, every single one of you. And I'm going to talk about what we plan to do in order to dramatically increase our subscribers in 2024. But right now, I just want to say thank you to all 5,700 and however many of you there are. We really appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing, doing everything you can to help us grow what we believe is an extremely important YouTube channel. And we believe it's extremely important because of the content that we're putting out. Remember, our mission is to empower you to defy an unjust legal system. And if you don't know that this legal system is unjust, then I don't know, maybe you've been living on a rock. I'm not sure. But yes, this legal system is extremely unjust to African-American, poor, and other minority people. So not only do we empower you to defy an unjust legal system, but also to nullify systemic racism. That is our mission statement. And again, it's extremely important, especially given the times that we live in, the political climate that we live in. And I'll have more to say about that in just a moment. But yes, the mission statement that we have is very important. So we appreciate you being a part of this community and helping us grow it because we need to get this important, empowering information out to as many people as possible. All right. So in essence, thank you very much from the bottom of our heart. I'm talking about myself and Chloe. My daughter, she and I practice law together. We're law partners. And speaking of Chloe, I want to congratulate attorney Chloe Corbett. We call her the Duchess of Justice. I want to congratulate her on a case that we recently uh, finished, a case that we had been working on for four years since before the pandemic. Four years, a criminal case, a young man, 18 years old when we began representing him, was charged with a very serious felony offense. He was facing up to 20 years in prison. 20 years in prison. Yes, you heard it right. 20 years. He would have been at least about 38, 39 years old when he got out of prison. Well, again, for four years, we worked this case. There were multiple hearings, and attorney Chloe Corbett is our lead litigator, so she was actually in the courtroom doing the fighting, and fighting she did. She really did some serious fighting. In one hearing, she was able to get some evidence suppressed. She was able to show that the Evidence was obtained in violation of our client's constitutional rights. And fortunately, we had a fair judge and he suppressed the evidence. And because of that, we were able to get the prosecutor to reduce the charge from a second degree felony all the way down to a misdemeanor. All the way to a misdemeanor. And the guy was placed on probation, the type of probation that once he 
completes the probation, then the case will be dismissed. He'll be on probation for two years, and that can be shortened if he does everything he's supposed to do. Now, it was real important to us, and it's always important to us, that we don't allow our clients, especially young black male clients, this is true for everyone, but we really don't want to see another young black man become a convicted felon. So we are very happy every time we can cause a young man not to become, again, a convicted felon. And so that gives us great joy. And especially when a, a young man is only 18 years old, he has the rest of his life in front of him, yet he's facing such a serious charge and the prospect of becoming a convicted felon. And by the way, under the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, slavery ended in 1865, except when someone is convicted of a felon. Under the law, in essence, they become a slave under the 13th Amendment. Go and read it. So we take that very seriously. And we are just elated and overjoyed that we were able to get this charge reduced to a misdemeanor. So this young man will be able to move on with his life, hopefully get back in school. When we started representing him, he was a freshman in college. Brilliant young man. So, again, congratulations to attorney Chloe Corbett. She was the one who did the hard work inside the courtroom in these hearings and negotiating with the prosecutor and, and all of that. Shout out to the Duchess of Justice. <laughs> Proud to call her my daughter. All right, what else? So what do we intend to do in 2024? All right, so what are our plans for 2024? Well, number one, we're going to continue truth-telling. We're going to continue telling it like it is where social justice, economic, and political justice is concerned. We are not going to back away from that. We can tell from some of the comments that some of you disagree with us. That is fine. But we know as attorneys, we know the law, and we know what we're talking about. So when we bring you a legal analysis, you can trust it. So we're going to continue giving you the unadulterated truth about the law, about social justice, etc. More of that is coming. We're not going to shrink back from that. All right. So what else? We're also going to do more videos and vlogs about our law practice. We want to bring you in to our law practice. Corbett and Corbett is our law firm's name. We're located downtown Dallas. Chloe, myself, and my wife, she runs the law firm for us. And we're looking and hoping to bring on some other people this coming year. We have some very big plans, but we want to bring you in. We want to do some more videos and vlogs about just our practice us as attorneys, some personal things that we intend to share with you. So we want to introduce you to us so that you just don't always see us just hard hitting some legal topic. And we're just some, in fact, someone called me today in one of the comments, a YouTube lawyer, <laughs> a YouTube lawyer. <laughs> Well, I'm not a YouTube lawyer. I don't know what that means. I presume he's saying I'm a lawyer and he only sees us on YouTube. So that's part of what we want to um, negate. We're not YouTube lawyers. We're actual lawyers who represent actual people and are constantly doing all that we can to give our clients the most zealous and competent legal representation that we can give them. We're going to be uploading a video, by the way, 
where Chloe is going to talk about some of the successes we had in our criminal defense practice. She's going to talk about the fact that if you remember, Cat Williams has said, I think he has 17, 18, 19 felony charges, but no convictions. Chloe is going to comment on that. She's going to talk about that. So stay tuned for that video. So number one, more truth telling that empowers Number two, we're going to do more videos and vlogs about about our practice and about us personally. Third, this is 2024. This is a political year. So we're going to work to keep Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, out of office. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say we're going to be working in the political realm this year. No, let me be specific. We're going to work to keep former president Donald Trump out of office. We're going to do all that we can as attorneys, as a law firm, and as citizens to keep him from never occupying 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue again. All right. So I won't say any more on that. Fourth of all, we're going to be creating a space on Patreon. We believe that there are some things that only a select few or folks who really are vested in what we're trying to do should have access to. So we're going to create the Patreon account, page, channel, whatever it is, um, so that if you're interested in going to the next level with us, then you can do so through Patreon. That's going to be coming soon. We should have that going by the end of January, if not sooner. And last of all, we want to grow our subscribers to, give me a drum roll, 50,000 minimum by the end of 2024. 50,000 minimum. By the end of 2024. So that's increasing the number of subscribers that we have by 10 times. A tenfold increase of subscribers. Look, I'm a man of faith. I believe it can happen. If you help us take one video viral, 500,000, a million, <laughs> or 10 videos viral, 50, 100,000 views. We can get to that 50,000 minimum with no problem. So we need your help to increase our subscribers by tenfold, a tenfold increase. We know it's possible. That's what we're going to be working on, but we need your help. We need you to help YouTube love our channel. And you do that by liking our videos, by commenting on our videos, and by sharing our videos. Liking, commenting, and sharing. That'll help our videos go viral. Come on, don't you want others to hear this empowering content? I don't believe there's anything on YouTube like it. Our role is to give you the information you need to defy an unjust legal system and to nullify systemic racism. That is our space. That's our lane. And that's where we're going to stay. But we need your help to find another 50,000 people who enjoy and want that type of content. Okay? So those are the things that I wanted to share with you in this video. Again, thank you. Congratulations to the Duchess of Justice, Attorney Chloe Corbett. And those are the things that we have planned for 2024. Thank you for all your support. And until the next video, peace.
That Corbin and Corbin legal team Fighting for the rights of the people that father daughter team Investing in the youth when the system ain't treating them equal Providing truth for our people, we able to reach them So anytime you get accused for a crime and Lord knows you ain't do it We here to get you through it, exemplifying prudence and glorifying God Making sure you're compensated for other people's doings Our vision is to be one of the best We're small enough to focus on your matter throughout the neighborhoods of Dallas Working constantly and making sure your rights are protected A firm team of lawyers, aggressive, effective A team that has your back in the courtroom Two well-spoken black lawyers in the courtroom Investing time and resources when it's evident that you were treated wrong Now you walking out of Dallas courtroom with a settlement Corbin and Corbett, the father-daughter legal tag team that has your back in the courtroom Our purpose is simple to obtain a favorable outcome for each client and glorify Christ in all we do. Our vision is to be one of the best and most...